Do you have an amazing photo library filled with pictures of your favorite people and your best memories, but when you go looking for a photo, you find yourself searching and scrolling endlessly and never finding it? I'm Dylan Stewart. They call me the Mac Whisperer, and this video can help. Apple Photos is an amazing program filled with powerful tools that can help you organize, share, edit, and synchronize all of your pictures and videos. But like most Apple products, it doesn't come with a manual. So figuring out how to use it and what those tools are can be a frustrating process of trial and error, which is where I come in. This is part two of my ongoing series about how you can get organized with photos. And in today's video, we're gonna focus on how to use folders, subfolders, albums, and smart albums to organize everything so that you can find it quickly. If you stick around until the end of the lesson, I'm gonna share with you my number one organization and productivity tip that I use for all sorts of things in my life so I can find things quickly. And it works wonders with photos. So make sure you stick around for that. As we jump into the Photos app, the first thing we need to do is look over at the left side, which is called the sidebar. It's a powerful tool that allows you to navigate through your entire photo library and all the tools that exist. It's broken down into three separate sections. First up, we've got the Photos section. Underneath that, we've got the Albums section. And beneath that, we've got the Projects section. If you haven't watched part one of this series yet, we talked all about the photos section in great detail. So some of the things we're gonna talk about today are gonna to lean on that information. If you haven't watched it yet, take a moment, click this link right here and go check it out because it's gonna help you understand what we talk about next. Today, we're gonna to focus almost exclusively on the album section of photos. It's broken down into three separate parts. Media Types, Shared Albums, and My Albums. Let's get started with Media Types. Media Types is a section of your photos library that Apple has created to automatically sort your pictures and videos into different categories. There's a lot of great and powerful tools here. We're not gonna cover all of them, but I'm gonna hit a few of them that I think you should be aware of. First off, videos. Did you know that all the videos in your library are in one place? Right there. Also, we've got the selfies section, and the selfies section is a great place to quickly find pictures of you. We've also got some other areas here, such as panoramas, where you can see all of those beautiful landscape photos you've taken, or the portrait section, which allows you to see those professional quality pictures with the bokeh blurred background effect, and they're awesome to look through. You can also find things like time-lapse photos or slow motion photos, or even screen recordings and screenshots. A lot of the screenshots we take, we don't need to save, we don't need to keep them. So this is another place that you can go to easily organize and delete a bunch of stuff so it doesn't have to go into folders later on in this lesson. The only other part of the media section that I wanna talk about is this one here, live photos. Live Photo is a setting on your iPhone that allows you to take a picture that is actually a three second video, including audio. Why would you wanna take a three second video? Well, there's lots of reasons, but the one that I like to use as an example is group pictures. You know, when you're taking pictures of a lot of people, someone's always looking down and someone's always blurry and someone's eyes are closed and someone else is picking their nose and you could wish if only I could see a couple of other frames of this shot and find one that's a little bit better. And with live photos, you can. By opening up a live photo and clicking on the edit button in the upper right corner, you open up this screen. And at the bottom of this screen, you can move this slider to find any frame of your live photo. And when you find the best frame, you click make key photo and it will replace whatever the original picture was with this one so that you can immediately take group pictures and get 
everybody in frame and everybody smiling and looking at the camera. It's a great tool. We're going to talk a lot about editing live photos and editing other pictures in part four of this series, which will be coming shortly. So keep your eyes open for that. And that's the media type section. Now let's move on to shared albums. Shared Albums is an amazing and valuable part of the Photos Library. It's a place where you can take any album of photos and share them with multiple other Apple users or they can share their albums with you. It's a great thing for stuff like weddings or parties, places where lots of people are taking pictures at the same time. So for example, when my daughter got married, I created a shared album and I added everyone that was an Apple user into that album. This way they could upload their pictures and the bride and groom had one place to look for all of the videos and pictures and it was easy and simple for them to do that. Shared albums are really powerful but they can also get a little overwhelming. Over time you may end up with lots and lots and lots of shared albums. So it's a good idea to clean it out from time to time. One of the things you need to know about cleaning out your shared albums is that if you took the picture, you don't need to do anything about it. It's already in your library. But if somebody else took the picture and shared it with you, before you delete that shared album, you may want to highlight and select those pictures and right click on them and import them into your library so that you have them. And then if you don't need that shared album anymore because maybe it's outdated, you can easily come over to your sidebar, right click on that shared album and just delete it. Remember, if you took the pictures, you don't need to import them. But if someone else did and you delete the shared album without importing them, those pictures will be gone. So I want you to make sure you take care of those shared albums. Now let's talk about the My Albums section. We're going to spend the vast majority of today's lesson right here because this is where your folders, subfolders, albums, and smart albums live. And this is where you're going to organize your pictures so you can find things quickly. The first thing we need to do is talk about what is an album versus a smart album versus a folder versus a subfolder. And I'm going to do it by walking you through a couple of those photo types. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to click on this folder here called Holidays and Events. This is a main folder. You can tell it's a main folder because it's right underneath my My Albums section. But you can also tell it's got stuff inside of it because of the little arrow to the left. If I click on that arrow, it gives me a drop down of all of the subfolders that are inside of the Holidays and Events folder. Now, I'm going to go into my Halloween subfolder here because if you're like me, you probably take tons of pictures of the kids and the costumes and all the fun things we get to do for that holiday. It's one of my favorite holidays. So I'm always taking those pictures and organizing them and collecting them here. You see, an album is a place to organize a set of pictures that go together, whether it's the same place or the same people or the same event or something like that. So photos go inside of albums and albums go inside of subfolders or folders. And as you continue to take other Halloween pictures, you're going to put them into other albums and all of a sudden you're going to have a laundry list of Halloween albums from 2006, 2007, 2008 and so on. If you don't put those into a folder or a subfolder, your sidebar becomes unwieldy, long and exhausting to scroll up and down through. Scrolling is the enemy of productivity, so we want to keep things concise and compact. That way I can find what I'm looking for without hunting up and down through an eternal list. So what you want to do is you want to create a folder and put those albums into it. Creating a folder is easy. You're going to click the plus button over here to create a folder and then you can just drag the albums inside of it. You don't need a folder unless you've got at least two albums to put inside of it. So here we can see all of these Halloween albums. That makes sense to put them into a Halloween folder. But Halloween is just one of the holidays that we celebrate and take pictures on. So for me, I've taken all of those holidays and I've consolidated them into a main folder called Holidays and Events. 
This is a super helpful folder where I can put all of those different holidays as well as events like weddings and graduations so that they're all in one place and I know where to look for them. Now I want to talk about how you put pictures into an album. And for this, I'm going to step into my library. There are several ways to create albums. You can simply come to your My Album section and click the plus button and create an album here. Or you can come up to the File menu up here and create an album here. But neither of those is the best way to do it. The best way to do it is to grab the pictures that you want to put into that album and put them in together. So here was my brother's birthday. I'm going to click on the first picture of my brother's birthday and I'm going to come down to the last picture and select all of them. And you might say to me, whoa, 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 slow down, Dylan. How did you select all of those photos at once? And this is a little bonus tip. There are several different ways to select multiple items on a Mac. The first one, you click on one image or item and you hold your command button down on your keyboard. While you're holding it, you can click on any additional items and they'll all get selected. The second way to select multiple items is when they're all in a row together like these are. In that case, click on the first item and hold the shift button down on your keyboard. While holding it, click on the last item and then let go. By doing that, you connect the dots between the first click and the last click and everything in between gets selected. And the third way to select multiple items is called the lasso. And it's really valuable. What you're going to do for the lasso is put your cursor above and to the left of the first images you want to grab. Click and drag diagonally and you'll select all of the pictures that fall inside of that lasso. The lasso is a great tool for when you're grabbing a clump of pictures that are all in one place. So between those three different selection tools, you should be able to easily find your pictures that you want to add into an album and get them all selected just like that. And once you've got all of your images selected, you could drag them over to the left if you can see your album or folder that they're going to be put into. But if your sidebar is long and unwieldy and you're going to find yourself scrolling up and down, that process is going to be complicated and annoying. The right way to add pictures into an album is by selecting them and simply right clicking on them. When you right click on them, you're going to come down to the add to section. And from here, you can add them into any existing folder or album, or you can create a new album by clicking right here. When you do that, it's going to add your new album right below the my album section and allow you to give it a title. Then you can file that album into a folder if you have one that fits it. In my case, this birthday can go right into my holiday and events folder. And from there, I can take it and drop it right into the birthdays subfolder here. And that's an easy way to add things to an album and put them into a folder or a subfolder. One of the other things you need to know as you're starting to build your albums and folders is how to view and manage them easily. You see, if you're using your sidebar and you want to file something, you can only click on one thing at a time in order to move it. You can't click on multiple items, which makes filing from the sidebar a little frustrating and annoying. It's also a little bit unwieldy to move up and down in the sidebar. So instead, you can come and click on the My Albums section directly or any folder or subfolder. And on the main window, it will show you the contents of that folder or side folder. I'm going to go ahead and click on my personal folder here. And in my personal folder, I want to talk about what we're seeing in the main window. There's a lot of different things that we can see here. First of all, we can see this little icon here, which is a smart album. You'll also see standard albums. A standard album will display as a single image, but if you roll your mouse around, you can see the contents of that album. And over here, we've got a folder. We can tell it's a folder because of the four square image. That image is showing the four top albums within that folder. You can explore any folder or album by double clicking on it and inside of it, you're going to see the contents. So here are the separate albums that make up my social media folder. You can click the back arrow in the upper left corner to get back to your main window. And by using this trick of clicking on a folder, instead of using the sidebar, you can easily select multiple items using one of the tricks we talked about a few minutes ago to be able to quickly grab, file, and organize all of your pictures. 
Keep in mind that when you're inside of one of these folders, if you come up to the view menu, you can sort it by name or by date, either oldest first or newest first. Now let's talk a little bit about smart albums. Smart albums are different from standard albums. With a standard album, you're going to be taking your pictures, selecting them and dragging them in or right clicking to get them over into the proper album. But a smart album has a rule and it does all the sorting for you. Whatever you ask a smart album to find, it will immediately populate that smart album with all of those images. So let me show you an example. I'm going to click on the My Album section here and click on the plus button. From here, I'm going to create a smart album. You can also create a smart album by coming up to the file menu and choosing it from there or by right clicking and creating it here. When you create a smart album, it's first going to ask you for a name of that smart album. In this case, I'm going to create a smart album of pictures of me and my wife. It's really easy to create a smart album by choosing from the criteria that it's got here. First, we see photo, and the photo criteria can allow you to do things like the photo is a favorite, or it's a video, or it's a selfie, or it's a live photo, or anything like that. But the criteria I want to grab is the person criteria. Now, if you watched part one of this series, you know that the people section is one of my favorite tools in Apple Photos, and this is why. Because if you've properly tagged people, you can easily find collections of people just by creating a smart album. So here I'm going to say person includes, and I'm going to go ahead and put my wife in here. And you'll notice down in the lower left corner, it's already found 5,000 pictures. But when I click the plus button to the right, I can add another criteria. In this case, person includes me. Now we've identified 3,300 pictures that include both Julie and Dylan, which is still a lot. Let's go ahead and add one more criteria to whittle that down. I'm going to click the plus button, but this time I'm going to make it date captured. This is focusing on when that picture was taken, and I'm only interested in pictures that were taken in the last 90 days. And there I have 60 pictures. Well, that's much more manageable. Clicking on the OK button in the lower right corner will make that smart album and open it right up for you so that you can see all of the pictures of, in my case, me and my wife. It's a great way to do things and find things and sort things easily. And there's all sorts of criteria that you can use to build smart albums. Once you've created a smart album, you can always change it, add to it, or edit it. By right-clicking on it, you can easily rename it or duplicate it, or in this case, let's edit it. And let's go ahead and let's add my son in. We're going to click the plus button here. We're going to say person includes Christian. And now we've found 18 pictures featuring Julie, Dylan, and Christian from the last 90 days just like that. So those are some of the basic pieces about how to organize and how to move things around, how to create smart albums and albums, folders, and subfolders. And in a moment, I am going to share with you my bonus tip, super valuable organizational tool that will change how you organize everything. But before I do, take a moment and give this video a thumbs up if you've got some value out of it or learned something you didn't know. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, now's a great time. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notify bell so you're always notified whenever I drop new content. With that being said, let's get into that bonus tip. This tip is called the five folder fix. So the five folder fix works by creating at least five basic folders that are essentially categories. Now I say the five folder fix, but you can have seven or nine, but I urge you not to have 23 because then it defeats the purpose. Somewhere between five and 10 is usually the sweet spot. And these folders should have very specific purposes. As you look over at my sidebar, you're gonna see a few of them holidays and events, which we've already talked about. Personal is a great place for me to put all sorts of things, including the documents that I'm constantly hunting for, like my insurance card or my passport or driver's license. Have you ever been in a crunch and you really needed one of those documents and you're sorting forever? Stop doing that. Put it in a folder called documents. You can have a work folder 
or a travel folder. The travel folder is so awesome because all of those albums from all of those trips you've taken in your life can be put here. Some of the other folders that you can use is a folder for friends or a folder for family where you break it down into all the most important people in your family so that you can have all of the separate albums of your daughter in one specific place. Here's a quick list of some suggested folders for the five folder fix. Events and holidays, travel, family, personal, documents, friends, work, home or household, nature and pets. And that's the real power of the five folder fix is that when it's set up, your sidebar is organized, clean and simple. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is going to lean on our smart albums lesson. We're going to create a smart album that's going to help you in the process of organizing and filing all of these albums and pictures. It's easy to create by coming up to the file menu and choosing new smart album. And the smart album we're going to create is called to sort. And the criteria for the to sort smart album is super simple. You're going to click here and go to album and album is not any. That means any picture that is not already in an album or folder will show up here. I'm going to go ahead and click OK on this. And as you go to sort things, you can use your select tools and find a clump of pictures that belong somewhere else. Right click on them, go into the add to section and find the folder or album that it's a part of. In this case, this is a part of my home folder here and I can click that and those pictures disappear from this smart album because now they're in an album and that makes it easy to know what has and hasn't been sorted. Before we finish up today, I want to give you a little help on how to easily succeed at this project. So the first thing we're going to do is come through the media type section and clean up all of those junk pictures out of the videos, out of selfies, out of screenshots, out of screen recordings, out of live photos. Get them out of there first. And then you're going to come into the My Albums section and create your five folders so that you have places to put things. Once you've got the five folders, take any loose albums that are floating around in this section and just drag them into whatever folder they belong in. Now that you've got your loose albums into your five folders, the last step is to create that to sort smart album and start filing. It'll take a little bit of time to get through it, but it's worth it because as you do it, you will learn what albums you need, what folders and subfolders you need, and you'll be able to build your system so that you can find whatever you're looking for instantly. So that's what I've got for part two of this lesson. Keep your eyes open for part three, which will be coming soon and will focus on all the great tools that you've got in photos to help you share your pictures and videos easily. I'm Dylan Stewart. They call me the Mac Whisperer, and it's my passion and profession to help you get more done with your Apple products than you ever thought possible. And I'll see you at the next lesson.